In today's Weird Science News, apparently the humble potato has been living a lie this entire time. Scientists just dropped this study in Cell that reveals the potato, the third most important crop keeping humanity fed, has some seriously wild scientific family drama. Turns out potatoes are the love child of a flowering plant called a tuberosum and an ancient tomato. Plant experts worldwide are calling this discovery remarkable because it represents evolution pulling off what can only be described as the ultimate ancient plant partnership. This wasn't gradual evolution, it was a full-on genetic blending event that created something completely new. And it's particularly rare because hybrids don't typically work. So how did this hybrid become the ultimate survivor? Well, the proto-potato inherited the best of both worlds. Underground stems from a tuberosum, the perfect structural foundation, plus a genomic switch from tomatoes that prompted it to grow an actual fruiting body. In other words, the potato. The result, tubers, and tubers were its survival cheat code. While the tomato and the tuberosum parents were stuck dealing with surface level environmental obstacles, their potato offspring went underground, literally, which allowed them to bypass the cold, wind, rain, etc., which allowed them to survive to modern day with more than 100 plus different potato species. To fully understand how this fusion happened and to what extent, the team analyzed more than 450 plus genomes from dozens of potato species and cross-referenced them with tomato and tuberosum genetics. Every single time, they found the same smoking gun, an almost 50-50 genetic split. No potatoes evolved from tomatoes, then met a tuberosum later, or vice versa. It was a true ancient genetic fusion. But here's the genius part. Most hybrids are evolutionary dead ends because they struggle with reproduction, but the proto-potato could asexually reproduce. Just bury a chunk of potato and watch the magic happen. Fun fact, you can still clone potatoes today using this exact method. Potatoes did eventually figure out how to sexually reproduce sometime in the last eight to nine million years, but they kept the cloning ability as a backup plan. So I guess it's really not potato potato, but actually tomato tomato. If you like science we're sharing like this, then follow us everywhere at Today I Learned Science at T-I-L Science.